there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm thrilled to have you here with me today because we're going to be talking about banishing bat wings and I'm going to be showing you my exact workout that I used to get these big guns. And I will say a lot of you requested that video and I do have some pretty good sized guns. Well, they're not really good sized, but they are tight and toned and I am 64 years old almost said 63, but I'm 64. And it is very nice to be able to still wear sleeveless after all of these years. And again, I'm going to show you my exact workout and it's only about 15 minutes, my workout that brought me here. But first, here's a look at my outfit of the day and all of the information on the clothing and the jewelry and my makeup is located below the video. It's all from Amazon and all very reasonable. And if you're not yet a subscriber to the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you'll subscribe. It costs nothing. That just helps you join our family and the great community of women here who are supporting each other as we get older and hopefully better. Okay, let's get into this and you are going to be very surprised by something in this video. And that is that my exact weight training video is further on in this video. It's actually at the end of this video because here is what happened. And I'm doing this video as a result of having done another video about one of my viewers results dealing with her bat wing issue. Her name is Carol McDuff and here is a look at her before and after pictures. And these pictures show her before results on her crepey arm skin on her bat wing area from December 15th through March 15th. So in three months time, she was able to make that much of a difference in her skin. And you all were very impressed by that, as was I. And the thing that is interesting to me, and it should be interesting to you too, is yes, she did derma rolling, and I'll link that video here and hopefully below the video so that you can go see that, because in that video, I will share more about how to derma roll your skin and that kind of thing. But the neat thing is that Carol got those results by doing a combination of derma rolling and weight training. And looking back, one of my most popular series on my channel is about dealing with saggy skin. And I'll put a link to that saggy skin video below this video so you can check that out if you'd like to. And in that video, I'm discussing the results of derma rolling my skin once a month. And the improvements in my saggy skin were really incredible. And I have lots of before and after pictures in that series of videos. And again, I will put those links below so you can check that out. But one thing I realized after the fact, and especially after seeing Carol's video, is that maybe I was getting those great results that I got on combating saggy skin, not just from the derma rolling, but the combination of derma rolling and weight training. And during that video, I ask you if you'd like to see my 15 minute arm video on how I got these toned arms and you said you would. And so two weekends ago, I had Alan go down in the basement and shoot that video. The plan was to shoot a new arms video. And I have to admit that I have been doing the same arm exercises for probably three years to get these. And so I was thinking to myself, gosh, you know, what do I do? I already have a video on my channel of the exact exercises I used to get here. But then I thought, well, they asked for a new video, so I would just reshoot it and I would add some slightly different exercises. But I really wasn't sure about that because I got these great results from the exercises in that one video. So to make a long story short, I shot that video two weekends ago and then I looked at it in editing and I was horrified. And quite honestly, like anyone else out there, I like people to see me in a good light. I like them to see me looking as good as I possibly can. I almost didn't even do the bat wing exercises video because I was so horrified at the pictures and I'll show them to you. This was a look at me two weekends ago and coincidentally, I was wearing exactly the same workout outfit as I had been in July of 2020. And in the before picture, I had been weight training for about a year and a half. And as you can see, I have a tight toned, very slim physique. And then two weeks ago when I shot the most recent video in August of 2022, as you can see, things have really changed in my body. I no longer have that generally slim physique. I mean, it's not horribly overweight, but look at the rolls around my waist. In the before picture, I have a tight toned waist with almost no rolls at all. And in the after picture, I have two really large rolls. Even my underarms are kind of fat. My face is fatter. Everything about the after picture is just fatter. And to be quite honest with you, I didn't really realize how much I had been letting myself go. 
And if you'd like a video about what I have realized happened in those last two years, why I went from pretty good looking, weight training, all tight and toned, to kind of falling apart and having the rolls around my waist and all that, please let me know if you'd like a video about that because I will show you my improvement project, which I just started two weeks ago. And basically it entails getting back to the weight training and some other things that had fallen away in terms of my diet, especially. And I will say, I did not know how bad things had gotten. Maybe about a month ago, when I was putting on my 26 regular jeans, I thought, gosh, these jeans feel a little tight. They're kind of hard to zip up. And I thought that's strange because I weigh myself every day and I weigh exactly the same now as I did in the two years ago picture. And if you'd like me to do a video about my self-improvement project to get back to how I looked two years ago, I will explain what happened and why my weight actually remained the same, but how my body shape really went down. And quite honestly, when I was having problems zipping up my jeans, I thought, well, these are old jeans. They've been through the wash a lot, although I always hang them to dry. And I thought, oh, they're just shrinking. You know, I did not realize how bad it had gotten. And I think that's something that happens as we get older. Sometimes we slightly change our level of activity, we slightly change our habits, and before you know it, we realize, oh my gosh, I've let myself go and I can hardly get myself back. And let's take a look at my before and after picture one more time because I did want to tell you one thing. And obviously there are multiple reasons why I went down the hill. And again, if you'd like to see a video about my self-improvement project, I will go into all that and you can follow along with me as I do some improvement. And if you also have weight issues, if you've kind of let yourself go like I have, then maybe you can follow along with me in that body improvement program. But let's go back to the before and after picture because I did want to tell you one thing. Okay, again, in the before picture two years ago, everybody thinks that if you lift heavy weights, you're going to get big and bulky. And in that before picture, I was lifting as heavy weights as my body would tolerate, and I was doing it five days a week. And in the after picture, I had gotten kind of sick of the heavy weights, and I decided to lessen my, my weight training workout to just lightweight barbells. And as you can see in the before picture, using heavy weights, I was slender, tight, and toned, and in the after picture, when I let up on the weights, I really got flubby and very soft and very out of shape. And that really answers the question for all of us, once and for all, do heavy weights make you bulky? And the answer is absolutely not. Not only do heavy weights make you tight and toned and slender, because we cannot develop those big bulky muscles as men do, not only does it keep us slender and tight and toned, it also protects our bones and protects us from osteoporosis, osteopenia, that kind of thing. And as we get older, that is so important, ladies. None of us want to just fall over and break a hip because when you break a hip about a year later, chances are you're no longer with us anymore. We really do need to be thinking about not just our tight toned physique. We need to be thinking about our health and that includes strength training to protect our bones. Okay, you came to see my 10 minute banish the bat wing routine. So stay on my channel because here it is.